Hello everyone, Namaskar to all of you. My name is Ranjit Soren and in today's video, we are going to talk about something which is very important and interesting. So, can you tell me whether this duster is a living thing or a non-living thing? Of course, this is a non-living thing. Then what about this marker? This marker is also a non-living thing. Okay. Then what about this? Is this plant a living thing or a non-living thing? This is a living thing. I too am a living thing. So how do you make out whether a thing is a living thing or a non-living thing? You look at certain characteristics that makes a thing living. What if I tell you there is something between a non-living thing and a living thing? What do you call it? Yes, this is the topic of this video. So let's head to the board. So today we are talking about virus which is the borderline between living and non-living. Let us now try to understand the structure of a virus. A virus is basically composed of only two things. The first is the nucleic acid and second is the protein. This nucleic acid genome is enclosed by capsid. This is basically a protein and in some viruses there will be an envelope made of lipid. Let us now talk about few important points about virus. It is a non-cellular organism meaning thereby it doesn't have any cell and it was discovered by a Russian scientist named Ivanovsky. He was studying the tobacco mosaic and in that process he found something which we call virus and this term virus was coined by Louis Pasteur. Virus lacks enzyme which is necessary for energy generation and this lack of enzyme makes it an inert object outside the host cell. The genetic material found in virus is either RNA or DNA. Never both. Plant virus is mainly single stranded RNA and animal virus can be single or double strand RNA or double strand DNA. The meaning of strand in the context of DNA or RNA. I have the identity card of a school and this has two strands one and two. So in DNA there will be two strands and they will be intertwined like this. There will be twisted like this. Whereas in case of RNA, there will be only one strand. Only There are such 